Hello, so today I'm going to be doing Homemade Squishy Update number 30. I can't believe I've actually done like 30 of these now. And I'm really sorry that there's like such a big gap because my last Squishy Update was like two months ago. But anyways, let's just get started. And also near the end of the video I'm going to give a shout out to someone. So yeah, let's get started. First I have this um taiyaki fish and I think it looks really good on this side but the other side doesn't really match I kind of like it looks a bit too dark and it just doesn't match the other side so I like this side more it's pretty squishy So there's that one. Next I have this panda cornet inspired by the real squishy and there's a hair on it. <laughs> so this is the panda one. It's not as big as the real one but I still like it and it's also not very squishy because I use the car like sponge for this. Next I have these two which may look a little bit weird but I think these are really cute. So I have this one and I think this is based off of a plushie but basically what it is is that it's meant to be a fish but this one, I, I don't really know how to explain it but it's supposed to look like a lemon. So here's the face which is really cute in my opinion. It has a little bell and the leaf is squishy, the tail's squishy and the fins are squishy. And this took a really long time for me to make because I needed to cut this out into like a ball shape. There's that one, and to go along with it, I made this one, which is supposed to be an orange. And again, it has a little bell, a leaf, which is meant to be like the top fin, and then these two little fins, and the tail. So yeah, I think these are based on like plushies that I saw on someone's video, but I've forgotten the names, but if you do know what they're called, then please comment down below. So there's those. Next, I remade my cute banana 344 squishy. And this one is a lot better I think, but it's really hard in the middle because I used a lot of glue to like glue down these parts. So that was kind of stupid, but yeah, I still really like this. I think it's a lot better than my last one. And by the way, I do have a tutorial on this, so you can check that out if you want. Next I have this Nutella Squishy which I also have a tutorial on. It's kind of cracking at the top but I don't really care. <laughs> I have this Oreo mirror inspired by Once a Pineapple and so yeah there's the mirror. <laughs> You can see me. Hello. <laughs> I 
and you can kind of see the details it's not very squishy because of the mirror but it's still quite squishy I just cut the foam like really thin next I have this chocolate coated banana inspired by mini cute club and these little foam pieces are supposed to be nuts and it's on a stick next I have this pizza squishy which I also have a tutorial on but the foam that I used wasn't very squishy so this is really hard it has pepperonis, ham, olives and peppers and I also have this capybara sun ice cream sandwich which is also made from the same material and I also have a tutorial on this but I don't really like this material because it's like super hard as you can see it's really hard for me to squish it so yeah there's those Oops. next I have two animal buns so I have this frog one which is inspired by Squishy Boba Forever she made a tutorial on it The colour turned out a bit too dark, but whatever. <laughs> it's a really big smile. And I also made the pig one, which I made a packaging for. So here's what it looks like. out so here it is shaded on the back so yeah there's those Next I have this creamy candy bear donut inspired by the real squishy. I really like how this turned out. But again it's like really hard in the in the middle because um I use like a lot of glue. Next I have this unfinished dragon egg. I still need to paint all the scales on. Don't know if I ever will but yeah there's this one. It's really squishy. Next is this one which is inspired by a restaurant that I went to called Bubba Gump and this is what their logo looks like but again it's really really hard because I use the same material that I use for the pizza so yeah not very squishy but still I like it next I have this one which is like a bunny in a coconut shell and this is inspired by the bunny and me show it's a youtube channel so it's a cute little flower 
and the straw which is also squishy and the coconut which is also very squishy I also have a little umbrella here but that's not squishy it's a really cute little face there's that one I have this mini rainbow cake which I also made a tutorial on I really like how this one came out because I did try making a rainbow cake before you may have seen it in some in one of my previous videos but that one didn't look as realistic but I think this one looks a lot better and I just glued it onto this piece of glittery card that I found just to make it look prettier and then the last one which I am super super happy about I have this skull pineapple <laughs> yeah I know it's pretty random but I got this idea I got the pineapple idea from Once a Pineapple she's like one of my most favorite youtubers and I got the skull like pineapple idea from like a shirt that I saw on Google <laughs> so yeah I know it's very very random but I love how this turned out this took me such a long time to cut out like the shape and everything and I know that the pattern isn't exactly like accurate on all sides but it's really hard to like do a crisscross pattern on this shape and it has the little leaves which are also squishy I just love this one, I'm really happy with this and it's really really squishy so yeah that was my Hamid Squishy update number 30 and I really hope you enjoyed it and now I'm going to be giving someone a shout out so the shout out goes to Once a Pineapple, she gave me a shout out in one of her videos. So thank you so much and please go and subscribe to her, she has some of the most like, amazing and original uh, ideas that I've ever seen. So yeah, please go and subscribe to Once a Pineapple and yeah, so thank you so much for watching guys and stay tuned for more videos coming soon, bye bye!